Accelerator Titanium is a cross-platform mobile and desktop application development framework that utilizes JavaScript. Um, so if you are a web developer, you will be very comfortable moving over into Accelerator and starting to develop uh, native App Store, Android Marketplace um, applications um, with a pretty um, singular code base uh, in JavaScript. So it's pretty awesome. And you can uh, check it out by going to AppCelerator.com. This tutorial is just going to be an introduction, and also uh, we'll be working with um, a few basic uh, user interface elements, and I'll show you the documentation. So if you go to AppCelerator.com and go to the Developer Center, um, you can, well actually, on the main website, you can go and download um, Titanium, the developer uh, development environment um, like this, and also the SDK. And once you have that, you can go into the Developer Center under Docs, um, and under mobile, go into the uh, reference guide. And so these are all of the uh, classes you have available to you through JavaScript in Titanium. And they give you the, the full set of, of user interface elements for Android and iPhone and iPad, um, along with all of the uh, other hardware um, capabilities of the devices. And so um, Let's go ahead and jump into Titanium Studio. And uh, once you have everything set up, do a file new and uh, make a Titanium mobile project, project name, whatever you want. Uh, I use the default location where it's in documents slash Titanium Studio workspace. That's the folder it's in. Um, the app ID is just like a com or a org dot um, your company name dot and then your app name or however you want to do it and then your URL uh, you want to select the latest SDK version in this case it's 1.7.2 and um, for me I like to just select all, all of the devices here iPad, iPhone, and Android so once you have a project set up um, go into the resources folder of that project and open up app.js in titanium app.js is the is the starting or it's like the default uh, JavaScript file that's that's run when your application is started um, and I actually have the iPhone simulator running this code right now and you can see this is just uh, what's put in the project by default it creates a tab group so you can see this at the bottom uh, creates a window um, so a window is an actual uh, you know, it's something that's displayed that uh, takes up the whole screen. Um, the tab is just something that contains the window. So you can see we're creating a window uh, by using the ti.ui.create window uh, function. And for each, uh, for most, or like whenever you're creating an object in Titanium, they use um, uh, JSON to pass different parameters over to it. So you can say, okay I want to set the title to this string and then you say comma background color whatever and if you take a look at the documentation again if we go into ti.ui. Uh, window here we can see all of the different properties that we have available to us so we can customize the look and feel um, of our window so you could um, set uh, like the background focused image and the focus color and blah 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 um, just about anything you wanted. You could tell it if uh, you could say if you wanted it to be a, a model, um, a modal uh, window, or uh, just a standard heavyweight one, whatever you want. Um, and then within a window, you can put other UI elements. So in this case, they're creating a label, um, calling it label one. And once again, we have the JSON. Um, parameter and here we can set the color of the label, text, font which takes in more JSON, um, text align, width um, and then uh, before anything is displayed you have to add these UI elements to the window and you do that by saying win1.add label1 or whatever else you want to add in, in there um, 
and then uh, from then on out they're just creating a second window, second tab, second label um, and then you have to, with a tab group, you have to remember to add the tabs um, to the group and then actually open the group and so if we take a look here you can see that we have two windows, two tabs, two labels in the second window we have a label that says I am window 2 and the first one I am window 1 anyway uh, so let's go ahead and just um, s start off by playing around with um, some titanium functionality and so uh, you might have an application that doesn't need a tab group or at least not um, to start so you want to just have um, a standard window um, and so a tab group and, or a window works just as a tab group where you you add stuff to the window and then you have to remember to open it because the window you're not really adding it to any other um, super view you're just uh, uh, opening it in a, in a completely new uh, context I guess you could say so um, uh, so here I'm just I've replaced all the tab group stuff um, and actually I'm going to get rid of this tab one declaration so now we just have a window with a label in it then we're opening the window by itself it's just going to be um, plain and simple um, and to run this you can go up into this uh, little run triangle at the top and uh, it's running it and there we go we have our plain window um, with the the standard label that we had in there before um, so yeah that's the basic introduction to titanium you can start playing around with it I uh, gave you an overview of like how the documentation works creating a project um, hopefully you kind of have a basic feel now for where everything is in titanium developer the editor um, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Connor Denman. Uh, follow me on Tumblr. Uh, it's connordenman.com. Um, you don't have to follow me. If you don't have a Tumblr account, you can just uh, you know go to my blog, connordenman.com. And um, Google Plus, Connor Denman. Uh, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more videos. And I'll make more for Titanium as well. Thanks.